Thanks, it's like recording. Yeah. Mashallah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself. My name is Hamza. That's enough. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mage PvP here, back with another Minecraft game. <laughs> this is gonna be so cheesy. <laughs> hey everybody! Hello! I'm starting my YouTube channel properly now. Some of you have been following me for a couple of years and I've put some stuff on YouTube, music, vlogs, <coughs> blah blah blah. You can go and see. But I'm gonna do it properly now, full time like Hamza's doing because I want the money that he's making. Mashallah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to obviously start my channel off properly by interviewing this little child who I call my little bro. How long have we known each other? <laughs> Shut up. How long have we known We friends? go way back. <laughs> I'm going to do this in like an interview style but like a podcast as well. So I'm going to ask you questions but then like I might interject and say some stuff as well okay. to keep the ball rolling. I've got some questions written down but I might add some, take some like just seeing as how the um, the conversation goes, okay? Okay. So the first part of this, I'm going to do in two parts. The first part is going to be like a fun quick fire one and the second part is going to be all about YouTube so keep a lookout on my channel for that. So first and foremost, what's your height? Six foot one. 6'2 on Tinder. I don't believe any of that, but okay. What's I'm five. I'm 5'4. Five that, that's not Just, even gonna do anything. Just, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> sit, sit down. <laughs> do remember when you used to be. Um, so when Hamza was in college, up until college, you were really small and really yeah, chubby. That's your height. You, you were even smaller than me. Yeah. Because I remember you used to cry about it. <laughs> and remember when you used to be really chubby? Yeah. And I used to call you Fatty Bumbalati. <laughs> so I motivated Hamza to start working out and go to the gym and things because I was like, go to the gym, Fatty Bumbalati, stop eating and stop just sitting on your computer playing RuneScape. So everything that you have is because of me. Okay, let's see. What is the next question? So introduce yourself. To someone who doesn't know you, why a dance move? So you can't speak yet to do a dance move. Just just do something like don't. <laughs> just do something. I don't care, just do something. Okay, drop me a beat. What? No like, no music. There's no so what music. What am I supposed to dance to? Just yourself. <laughs> just do You're walking down the street, someone says. Show me yours then. Hang on. <laughs> Go on, just do something. <laughs> uh, that's a TikTok dance move. That's not even funny. You just ruined everything. What's your favorite color? Blue. Light blue, dark blue. You just failed. Yours doesn't even smooth. I don't care. Blue. That's not a dance move. That's just. I don't even know what you're doing. On the block. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get okay, copyrighted. <laughs> so, what's your favorite color? Light blue or dark blue? Um, this color blue. Yeah, I like like rich blue. Is it because like, it's the opposite of what you want? Sure. Similar to this, but a bit more like rich. I like this black blue color. So you like like dark? Okay. Yeah. My favorite color is black, and I know people say black isn't the color. Go and say that to a black person. What's your zodiac? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, <cancel. laughs> What's your zodiac sign? What, Gemini. Yeah. yeah. So Hamza's birthday is on the tenth of June. Now I'm older. I don't think people. Yeah, people probably know. I'm older, so I'm older than Hamza by four years. I'm twenty eight, and I'm gonna be twenty nine next month. So I'll be expecting my birthday presents and my birthday cash from all you Jeffries. Mashallah. And you'll you'll be twenty five. Yeah. Quarter of a century. Yeah. <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> For you. <laughs> do you believe in zodiacs and horoscopes? Do you believe it defines no. you? No. I don't think that like the daily horoscopes or the or the yearly forecast defines you. But when you read up on like what a Gemini man is or what a Pisces woman is, it, it is like your personality. Your personality traits it as much. I'm a like Pisces. I'm what Pisces. does that mean? What do you mean? Well, what does a Pisces do? So Pisces has elements of all the signs, so it's basically the best one. So it's quite girly, quite feminine, quite emotional, cries a lot. 
I don't know. Gemini is an air sign, so and which you and Jazz are both air signs, so and, and I see that like how you're both like quite like laid back and like let's just go with the flow. Well, <laughs> it is no, no, no. Compared to me, where I'm like, oh my god, no, I can't do this until I research it. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, but how, how long do you research for? A few years. <laughs> I, I I researched two years before I bought some Louis Vuitton boots. Yeah, for me it'd be like, like to buy this camera like two months. So you do research, but like, it's like OCD. I think where you're like you're trying to control everything. And you're like, no, I need to find out yeah. before I make a move. So I think the <laughs> water <laughs> signs are too much. Like they're too um, emotional. Hmm. Whereas air signs are like. Woo! <laughs> What's your favorite song? Mm. I like Brucky by SR as like a gym song and Let Go by Aaron May as like a chill song. I don't know who any of these people are. Good. So, What's your favorite song? I don't have one. How can I pick just one out of the hundreds and thousands? Try. <laughs> I just did. I, I have so many. You can pick two. If I well, what's what's the one that you really enjoy listening to right now? Well, that changes all the time. I'm really but right nothing. now, what's like the, the song? I'm gonna I'm right gonna have now. to go on my YouTube and see what I've been listening to. I've been listening to you know that um love is that how you say love Navatiti? The pull it. <laughs> what? The TikTok song. The, 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 the pull it. But like the Arabic version. Well, know. shut up, just. <laughs> but one song that I like, my, I I like different kinds of songs all the time. So like one of my favorite songs is Laura Bl Branigan's uh, "Self Control." That's an eighty song. But I also like XXX Tinashe's um, "Young Blood." I don't know that one. And I like. Look at me. It, it's a proper Look like. I don't know how to say it. It's like a proper hardcore rap shouting metal song. Mm. So uh, I I I it just depends on the song. I don't have a favorite genre. Right okay, so give us a little rendition of any song. Why are you asking this question? Just do it. <laughs> uh. No, nah, I I can like sing over this song, but not by myself. <laughs> okay, well you don't really have a favorite dance move, so we're gonna go from the. Who's your favorite actor? Um. I don't, I haven't watched the movie for like two years, I don't know. Any film that you can watch again and again? I used to like Lion. It has that guy from Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah, Dave Patel. Yeah, Lion's a good movie, I like that one. But I haven't, I literally haven't watched the movie or like watched anything for like almost two years now, so it's hard for me to answer that. Do that you, was the movie I'd, I would like, I rewatched it like four or five times though. So do you like right, uh, Lion because the brown boy yeah. gets taken away by wife. Yeah. <laughs> so you're hoping someone will take you away. Inshallah. So I think, you know, pe people say like, what's your favorite film? But people will always try to go out of their way to come up with something that's very like artistic. But your favorite film is something that you can watch again and again and again. Yeah. Does that make sense? Your comfort film. So yours? Mine will be Tremors, the first one. Yeah. Uh, like that's a really good film like Tremors if, if people don't know I think it was made in the early 90s with yeah. um, Kevin Bacon that and it's about like me anxiety. what? <laughs> that movie gave me anxiety <laughs> like he's still on the chairs and stuff and he just died <laughs> but like I, I, like I like the old school like classic action um, sci-fi what, what would you call it like sci-fi film but like the Thriller stunts and life. everything like everything is obviously it's CGI and obviously <laughs> but it's not as much CGI as all the crappy little superhero films. Yeah, I don't like, like those ones. Every five minutes it's like pew pew pew, like there's no acting, no character development, no storyline or nothing today. Yeah, but all the nerds will get angry at you because they'll say like, oh but the, the character arc of Spider-Man in the new movie. And I will slap every single one of these nerds yeah. back to nerd land. Yeah. Spider-Man is crap. Superman all is them, crap. All of them are. All of them are absolute yeah. crap. And you know what, what, what annoys me is like every single one of the actors, they're all talented. They're all super, super talented, but like the superhero films, it's just, it's like Bollywood 
has taken over Hollywood. Wow. It's like the, um, it's called the Masala film, like in Bollywood, where the noisiest films, the cringiest films, the one with the most CGI, where every five seconds something is happening, those films do the best in yeah, the Yeah, because they just have the like cinema. ten famous people and they, they spend exactly. like a billion on the, the budget or something, so it's all like a prop, like, it's all like a, what's that word? Like a popularity contest, because yeah. they've just got famous people in it. Like, pe people will just go to the cinema to watch, I don't know, Spider-Man, even, even people who don't like Spider-Man, who don't like superhero films, they go and watch it because it's something to watch. Because everyone's yeah. watching it. It's the McDonald's of movies. Basically, yeah, yeah so there's it's no consistent. thought process. I don't blame the actors for doing it because obviously they're like, once their character gets a significant role, they make a lot of money. So I don't blame them. I don't blame the studios for making it, but they're not real cinema. There was a, a director, uh, Martin Scorsese, who said they're not real cinema and all the nerds got angry, but... Yeah, what are you going to do? And I mean, like, what is that going to do? <laughs> oh no, cancel me, oh! Uh, let's see. Oh wait, no, let me tell you my, my favourite film. So Tremors, Last Christmas, which is the one with Amelia Clark, the one who was in um, Game of Thrones. What's that movie? Last Christmas. It's, it's like a romantic comedy one. So she's like a, care uh, a ca carer for a guy who's disabled. But it's like, it's, it's like, like a um, movie with like, a little bit of comedy, a little bit of... No. Uh, romantic, but like it's sad at the end as well. You you won't like it. You'll just be like, what is this? Yeah. It's like a proper. Chick no, flick. I, like, I like those movies. <laughs> it's a good chick flick to watch. Then <laughs> I, ne I never had the confidence. Oh no, wait, no, I, I said the, la we I said the up, wrong like, one. Which one? She is in Last Christmas. Last Christmas is the one with Henry Golding, the guy who was in Crazy Rich Asians. The one that I'm talking me before you, me before you in Last Christmas is good as well. Deep Blue Sea. I don't think I've watched it that many times. That was a good one. I like um, the zombie films, Dawn of the Dead, the new one, the 2000 something, 2005 yeah, one. Classic. Um, Shaun of the Dead's good as well. Shaun of, Shaun of the Dead, I, like, yeah. I think like everyone can watch that film like yeah. again and again and yeah, again. Yeah, that's again. probably maybe one, one of the most watched movies yeah. for me. That's probably and more like And it's still funny times, yeah. every single time. Yeah. Bridesmaid, I think it's also funny every single time. Which one's that? Bridesmaid, it's like, it's like a chick flick again, but it's like proper funny jokes in it. Yeah. And I can't think of anything else. White chicks. White chicks, like, some of it is just cheesy. It's a very yeah. American comedy film. Yeah, but that's the one I, I could watch that multiple, like, I've already watched it, like, probably ten times. That and Shaun of the Dead. And Interstellar, I've watched, like, four or five times. I don't really think I've watched, like, s serious movies like that again and again. Like, I could not put myself through watching, like, any of the Lord of the Rings films or anything. Like, like I know they were made amazing for that time, but I couldn't watch them again. Because, mm -hmm. like, I know what's going to happen, and I know it's going to take me, like, two whole days to get through to the end, <laughs> so now I'm, I'm good. What about Harry Potter? None yeah. of them can act. Harry Potter. None of them, the books were amazing, but none of the people in it can act. Which is quite weird, because... What's his name? Um, Daniel... Craig. No, not Craig. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, he's actually a good actor. No, he, he was in that other movie straight after Harry Potter, like Black Swan or something, and it was trash. <laughs> he wasn't in Black Swan? Yeah, he was. No, he wasn't. Yeah. Black Swan is the one with Natalie Portman. He was in some movie which was kind of like black, like some like dark, like he had to go to some house and it was haunted or something. The horror film. Yeah. Something, it was trash. a lady. Yeah. The lady in black. Or the, yeah. wo the woman yeah, in black. Yeah, yeah, and it was trash, yeah. I, I thought it was scary at some points, but like when the scary things happened. Yeah, but it what was about the like cartoon scary. movies? Cartoon? Uh, Rat, uh, the, Bat the Batman film was good. The Lego Batman. That's pretty good. But I've only watched it once. But like Ratatouille and um, Toy Story, The Simpsons movie. Toy Story isn't something that I can watch again. I can watch it, but I can't like enjoy it. What? They're just toys. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Like, it's not really like something to get attached to. So yeah. Now, pick a way to die. <laughs> but it can't be something quick and painless. It has to be something slow and painful and gruesome. Like what way would you want to die and it has to be something painful and slow. So I want to get eaten by a crocodile. Because how many people do you know 
I get eaten by a crocodile. Mm. And I want that to be filmed and put onto my YouTube channel for the likes. <laughs> <laughs> so what <laughs> what, what, what way would you want to go? Uh, probably See? drowning. But that's not really, like that yeah. happens quite a lot though. That's not you. Like it happens a lot, but it's it's uh it's still like a painful thing, isn't it? Like if everyone says like, but then yeah. the reason why is because uh, people say it's like. It's really painful and like a panic and everything for a while, but then after a while, there's like a sense of bliss when like yeah. you're finally like about to die. I I think it will be like getting high. After like you're no. panicking, panicking, and then you're like. Mm -hmm. You've never even been high. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going with what you told me. Can you swim? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually a pretty good swimmer. Still, like I barely even swim. Like I've literally but swam without like, armbands. Yeah, sure. You haven't <laughs> swum since we were like ten years old. So. Yeah, we got a pool in my gym, so I go like I'm literally faster than everyone who I'll go in the pool with. Like we, yeah, we you had like a spontaneous and you've got pool noodles yeah, and like everything. Yeah, like a spontaneous game of like the pool vo volleyball. And I got MVP because every time I was in the middle and like it was like picking the the middle, and one of them like dropped the ball. I was faster than all of them. They literally they, probably like, just they were let like you win. Nah, they were like grabbing my leg and everything to try and stop me. And I was still going faster than them. No, they they let you win because they were like, if we try to like beat him, people will be like. Oh look, the refugees are drowning. Like, <laughs> <laughs> next question: If you could be anything in the world, what would you want to be? What, well, like a, an object, or you could be an object. You could be a, a, an occupation if you weren't doing YouTube. Or like a job. Anything. I would love to be a singer. So I wish I could sing like Beyonce, and I would p have properly pursued it. If I had a voice like mm. that. An astronaut, probably. An astronaut, so you wouldn't go out of space. Yeah, that'd but be interesting. Why just to see space or like get away from Earth or, or like to say like you've done something that other people couldn't? Mm. I don't know, I had like an obsession with, I think it was after I watched Interstellar and it was like, um, I had like a level of like obsession with that, that idea of like, the universe is so big and we've only explored yeah. like a small part of it and like you can be the one who like goes up in the space. That and then also similar to Bear Grylls with like the survival yeah. side. Like I wanted to apply for like, he, did, he was doing like the island applications. Yeah. Where you go with like 10 people and you just have to like fight to the death. You should do that. Yeah. You should do that next one because he'll probably take you. Cause yeah. you. You're famous enough. And like what they do obviously with all the programs now, they try to get YouTubers on. Yeah, because then other people are going to watch it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like say, if, how many followers, subscribers do you have now? Like 215,000. So even if they can get like 100,000 people to watch from your channel, like they do that. So yeah. you should apply for it. Yeah. So with, with singing, so I realized like, obviously I can't sing. Never pursued about like, go I love try. music. No. Try. No, it's embarrassing. No, go on. So <laughs> <laughs> but, but. I'll do the ad libs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Sit. laughs> but but like <laughs> I love music. I love listening to music and I love the composition. So I started to make music. It's like I'm putting it on my channel. It's obviously it's like really basic and really like cringy and crap, but it's like just start. I just want you to start. Just do whatever comes out. Yeah. And just put it on. Well, I'm surprised you're like producing like tunes instead of like just voice what's that word? Um, like or doing like karo karaoke or something or like like actually singing, but then like just like covers. learning how to like edit the singing because obviously everyone's editing it anyway. Yeah. But I'm surprised you're doing like the full on like technical like. But that's what gets me. I think the beat of a song is the most important and that's always been the most important. Because if you think about it, like if you had a song with a good beat, crappy lyrics, you're still going to listen to it. But if a song had good beat, if a song had really good lyrics, lyrics that speak to everyone, that connect with everyone, but the beat is really crap, no one listens to it. So the beat is always important. This is why I think like people like Kanye West are still at the top of their game. He he really is, I think, like a game changer. You don't have to like his music, but like what he's done since he's been involved in music, what he like the kind of stuff that he's created for himself, for Jay Z, for all the other artists, like his work is iconic. So I think the beat is always the most important. So if you could be one fancy object, what would you be then? What's a fancy object? A Lamborghini. Mm. I feel like this is a proper materialistic question. Yes. You'd because... choose like a Gucci handbag or something. Who? Gucci handbag? What do you think I'm mid? What? 
Gucci hotline. Wasn't, wasn't mid. <laughs> this is TikTok speak. Mid is like mediocre, average. <laughs> Sub five with normie. But I, normie. I, I would want to be a Bugatti. What's that? A car? Yeah. yeah. But but like, um, but like black cliff crystals. How about this bathrobe? And then I can put you in the washing machine and that'll be the first time you get a wash. So, then I can draw. <laughs> okay, so next question. So there's a zombie apocalypse. Costco. I, I love zombie stuff, okay. That's not the question. Obviously, every time you ask a zombie uh, apocalypse question, people are like, um, how would you survive a zombie apocalypse? So my question is, which three types of people are you going to sacrifice? Like the loud, panicky, like motherfuckers. Agreed. Probably, not, probably not me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not, not straight away, but obviously the the fat guy is gonna come in helpful when we need to run away. Cause you're just push him be, over. You don't even need to. You just gotta be a little bit faster than him. It's fine. Don't even need to push him. So I guess that's number two. And then number three, um, it depends what position, like state of the the. Apocalypse and the tribe that we have are probably like someone who's useless. Yeah. Up until there's like enough resources that it doesn't matter that there's like a leech there. But if it's like, let's say I'm like literally me with like three people and then there's someone who's like can't contribute whatsoever. Yeah, they have to go. Yeah. If it's still in like, if it's like a hardcore survival mode, then it's like you can play like the hero all you want, but everyone's like, oh, bro, never, bro. Like, you should have. You're not gonna like drag this person and your entire like squad yeah. die. At one point, you're gonna give up on them and ride yeah. it slow. <laughs> so the people that I would sacrifice, babies and children, <laughs> they make too much noise and they're just annoying. <laughs> so if we finally have a chance to like, get rid of the human race, like obviously I want to survive, I want to live to a certain age, but I don't want my, like, my life to be ruined constantly by the fear of zombies attacking me because the babies and children wouldn't shut the fuck up basically. So next one, like people who freak out and start shrieking like a banshee. Like yeah. the Karens, I feel like the Karens are going to be like... Oh, oh, but that's still a real push. <laughs> Just a daft, stupid. And then the third person, uh, men. <laughs> so <laughs> you have one million pounds. What's the most ridiculous thing you're buying? So you can't say like a house or, or, or like a car or whatever. You have to say something really, really ridiculous. Like something I'd actually realistically buy, or just like, should I just make something up? You can make something up, whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I think what I'm actually quite like. Desire? I think I'm actually good on like finance and stuff. So literally, there's nothing like ridiculous. It literally just be like investments and stuff. So if, if you consider like crypto ridiculous, I don't think so. Like no, something, think something, something like, like. So like okay, so my one when I think about it, okay, like obviously I'm gonna like go on a shopping spree and stuff. stuff. But something ridiculous that other people wouldn't really do. So have you seen those, you know like crystals and stuff and people go on about oh, crystals have special powers. I don't think crystals have special powers but a lot of them look really nice. So I want to buy like the big fat ones for the home. So some of them, like I saw a, a video somebody put up on YouTube where um, one of the crystals was like the purple one, Am Amethyst I think it's called, and it was like this big. That was like 600 pounds. So I want to get like a freestanding one, like a big one, that'll probably be like a thousand pounds. So I want to buy loads of them. Mm -hmm. So they'll probably be like five thousand, ten thousand pounds and just dot them around the house. A black one, a white one and a light pink one. Mm. So, so, so something like, you don't need, looks pretty. Three more bathrobes. I wanted to get like a nice like purpley pink one, like... Okay. Let's do a whip round. We'll put some money in and get him the uh, pink and purple bathrobe. Yeah, this one's starting to smell now. That's disgusting. <laughs> okay, so would you want one million pounds or the love of your life? You're thinking, wait, <laughs> what the hell? I'll do like an ROI calculation. Like, the issue, like the love of your life is kind of like unrealistic type of stuff and it's like, the person who thinks that you know they found the love of their life, they divorce in like three years anyway. Yeah. So is this no? Like but a, but this is guaranteed the love of your life. Are you gonna to be together forever? Type of yes. Thing? Yeah. Then that one. Yeah. That's okay. 
One million is not that much. No, one million is. No, for you. If, if, if you're, <laughs> if you're <laughs> thinking rich, obviously one million pound is nothing, but one million yeah. pound for me, f even for you, for, for anyone. Oh, no, it's a lot, but, but it's like... It's life changing. But so it's like having the, if this is like literally like the lifelong partner, you're going to be together forever. It's going to be like a loving relationship. That's like priceless in a sense. And that's like, f but what me. benefit can they give to you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, like, okay, if I had a one million pound, like we were, we were abused as children. I think we should point that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, m money, money, like <laughs> that, was, that was the end of my um, fun questions. Let me think. Can you think of any fun questions? How how long have we been recording for? What's the the most? That's thirty minutes. I think that's enough for the fight question. That's uh, okay. What is the most like critical thing you can say about me? How is that a fun question? <laughs> That'll be fun for them. Critical thing. Okay, so one thing that <sighs> pissed me off, but it, it also showed me like how young you are. Um, when you, when we've had conversations about money. And the way that you've talked about money and spending money and all that, you have a very naive view of what poverty looks like. Like you don't realize like most of the world lives in poverty and will continue to live in poverty and they'll continue to suffer in poverty. And that this is this is the reason why capitalism is what it is because half of the world believe they're going to become billionaires and they don't care. Or they they do care about like how the other half is living, but they think like. Everybody can get themselves out of poverty. Most people are never going to have the chance to get out of poverty. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, and I think in part it's because you don't remember when we used to be poor. You mm. don't remember us living in Pakistan or even like living around the UK. You also haven't been to Pakistan in a very long time. So you haven't seen the first time poverty and you haven't seen like how even people who are rich in a country like Pakistan like can lose everything like this because of a hospital b bill. So I think like there's a lot of like, especially for young people, I think the old people who are still stuck in the mindset of if you work hard, you can make yourself money. That, that's not going to, that doesn't help everyone. Everybody works hard, but most of us don't have opportunities to actually get paid correctly for the hard work. If hard work paid, the day lab laborers. But it's not hard work though. What do you it's mean? not like hard. Yeah, I know what you, what you mean. It's like, like you, you, it's smart innovation. Work that really, yeah. that really counts. But like you say, most of us still have the opportunity. But even the broke people in Pakistan, obviously, like the people completely in poverty, fair enough. Yeah. But like the broke, let's say the random guy who's like a, t a teacher, he makes like the equivalent of like a hundred dollars a month. He still has access to the internet. How? He's like, he, he still has, he has internet. He they has all, like they all have internet. They all though. have internet, but yeah. they, they're not using iPhones and stuff. Their no, phone, no. no. Well, that, their phones, the phones that like, they're using are like either the, the uh, cheap Chinese version, which are really slow, or, or they're still using like the Nokia, the little. But it's all relative though. So, for example, when if for example I say, okay, anyone can make 10,000, 100% you're right that I have like the biased lens of someone who, who has this privilege and who's accustomed to it. So when I do think of anyone, I'm thinking of like Scott or like John who walks past here or something. Yeah. I'm not thinking of like some random, like, you know, like the African kid with a big stomach or something. I'm not thinking about them. But either, either way, it's like, it's relative because let's say that same person in Pakistan who doesn't have the nice phone and everything, but if he can make $200 a month online, which isn't really that hard, then that's like a life changing amount. He's like technically rich amongst his community now. So it's all relative. It's like there is the possibility and pretty much most people have the opportunity, the exact same opportunity. Like you don't need the camera and the lighting setup yeah. and everything. All you need is the internet and they have like they still have the capability to record phone like stuff on their phone. And the idea of, that I say is like, is there someone in Pakistan who still makes like a, a good amount? Like has, is there a fair amount of people who've made a good amount of money on things like TikTok and YouTube? Yeah, there is. I don't know how much they're getting paid. I'm sure Pakistan is one of the countries where there's no... Um, no it's it's relative, so of course yeah. they make less like per thousand 
views compared to me but either way it's like it's relative so for me to make like five thousand that's like a very high amount yeah, but for them but to make like five hundred dollars that's it, they'll make less obviously just in general but, but it's, it's like it's relative in area. their community anyway that's that's actually all what that matters in terms of wealth and the happiness and fulfillment that all the research just shows that it's not so much like a blanket amount that you need it's just you need to have equal or more than your neighbors that's quite a, like a yeah, well, this this will do in another time. But keep in mind what I said, and like I agree with that. But I will again, I will say, yeah, say, say if there's a teacher in a country like Pakistan or, or or India or anywhere in a developing country, they're not working eight hours a day. They're yeah. working ten to twelve hours a day, yeah. and then they're getting home and they're trying to uh, teach the children, like, like spend some time, uh, more time with the children if they can. They're working Saturdays, even they're working Sundays. Their payment, their monthly wage is always delayed. The food prices are going up. There's a, there's, most people in this world struggle with money. You've got something in your eye, get that out. That one. So most people struggle with money and they're always going to struggle. It's going to slap you then like... How? <laughs> some sense into you. Ah. Okay, so that was the end of the fun... Um, Fun video. So <laughs> fun video. <laughs> <laughs> but that was like the quick fire, like you know, like blah, blah, blah. well anyway. So and next week, join us <laughs> for another video on um, YouTube. So I'm gonna do an outro. I, I feel like I need an outro as well. Yeah, trash, trash, trash. I talk, you listen. That's a nice one. Like I talk, you listen. And obviously, remember to like and subscribe. I want to be richer than Hamza, and I also uh, believe that as the eldest daughter, it's my right to be richer than Hamza. I believe nah, it, as the eldest, it, it's me, my so. um, right as a Samarin to get to a million subscribers quicker than Hamza. And I also believe that I'm a nicer person than Hamza. I'm funnier than Hamza. You're not funny at all. You do funny things, but not on, <laughs> not on purpose. Uh, like you, you do funny things, and I just think like he's definitely on the spectrum. Oh, like you got an eyelash. Man. You got an eyelash. So let me say bye bye. Join me next time. So some Thai food. What? Order me some Thai food, G. Press the button on it. Will you? That's it.